everyone, welcome to another day of Daily December. One of my most requested videos has been to show you my Kendra Scott collection. That would be a very long video. I'm going to try to hit many of the high points, but if you didn't know, I am a Kendra Scott ambassador, and that means that as part of their gifting policy, I get a few pieces from every new launch. And there's a new launch fairly often, every month or so. So over the years between my own buying, which was pretty extensive, and taking advantage of the 50% off discount during your birthday month, different conventions I've attended where they've handed out Kendra Scott, weddings that I've been in where I got Kendra Scott pieces, and on top of that, the Kendra Scott Ambassador Program, I have a pretty extensive collection. I am going to try to do my best. I won't remember all the names. So I'll put them on the screen and I'm also gonna list everything in the exact order in which I mention it here in the video. So if you wanna to go to refer to it later, you can easily find it. I am purposefully putting up this video today because I just heard from Kendra Scott and they offered me a 20% off discount code that's only good today, the 14th of December, and tomorrow, the 15th of December, which is very timely because December 16th is the last day to get in your order and get it to arrive before Christmas if you're ordering for delivery. They still, of course, have their stores open. They have curbside pickup in various places in Texas. If you live within a certain radius, they're even partnering with Favor and then you can get your Kendra Scott order. I think it's in two hours or less. So it might be four hours, but it's definitely the same day. So lots of options, but if you wanted to shop online and have it sent regular ground shipping, December 16th is the last day to get into it. So I'm gonna start with these. These I know are the rider hoops and with everything, I don't wanna keep repeating this. So I'm just gonna say, if it comes in a metal, more often than not, you have the option of choosing the piece in gold, silver, or rose gold. Sometimes you even have the option of vintage gold. I'll point those out as I show you. And with the stones, there's always options. So the option that I have is one of several color combinations. This is the rider hoop. It is a little bit smaller than some of the hoops you'll see later. I love this take and like an open chain link, but it's not floppy, obviously. It's a steady piece. And then I decided to wear today, the one piece that started the collection for me was her rain necklace, which is the classic long chain with some sort of stone and then the tassel on the bottom. And I picked this one, it's gold with a mother of pearl insert because that's probably the one rain necklace I wear the most. I have many of them. I will put up in the eye and down in the description box my last video on my Kendra Scott collection so you will see just how many of these I own. I thought I would go through this stand and kind of highlight just a few of the pieces. There's just so many. But I actually, before I do that, I should actually point out my newest piece. This was a Hanukkah present from my husband. This is part of her fine jewelry collection. If you were not aware, Kendra Scott does offer fine jewelry with gold, diamonds, pearls, various gemstones, and this is obviously a different level than the regular jewelry. I love it, it's delicate, it's beautiful. I'm just gonna keep that there. So one of my newer additions, I guess this came up over the summer, she launched a collection with stars. I love this one in the deep blue druzy. It does come obviously in other options. I wanted to point out something that I just recently learned. So her necklaces that have this ball closure, I hope this is focused, the ball moves on the chain. So if you want the chain to be smaller, you just pull and you can adjust to have the chain be as long or as short as you need it. I literally just learned this yesterday. So excited because I couldn't figure out why everyone else had their necklaces laying just right and mine was never quite right when I wanted to layer it because it's adjustable. Now I do have this necklace in two colors. I have this in the silver that you're seeing it. I also have it in rose gold and this is the layered clove necklace. And I love her layered necklaces because they just come ready to go. It's adjustable so you can make it longer or shorter depending on how long you want the chain. And I love this piece. It's funny, my favorite version of this is the gold and I don't have it. This necklace is one of the most newest releases. It is a layered necklace, it's three different strands. I love the medallion detail and there's little crystals on one of the strands. You could also wear it reversed and just have the smooth part of the medallion be the front, that works. 
I just, it's a really neat piece. I got a lot of questions about it when I wore it recently on social media. Another layered necklace that I love. It goes with some of my favorite earrings that I'll show you. It's this piece with that, it's the Druzy. It's this deep blue color that I just think is so stunning. It's so unique. And again, the clasp has where you can choose to have it how long or short you like it. I really like these little details. I wanna show you one more layered necklace that probably was my most asked about. And I think this is part of the Davis collection, but it is, again, three pieces. I picked it in the blue, which I think is beautiful. Now I kind of wish that I had picked it in, I think it came in a white or sort of an iridescent, a little more neutral, so I could have worn it with everything. But I do wear a lot of blue and things that go with blue. What's interesting about this piece is that it is three necklaces in one, but you can also take them apart. So this clasp is the kind that has the toggle bar. And if you look to the side, you can see the clasps right here at the top. So each of these necklaces can come off so you can wear them each separately on their own or you can remove some and this piece itself comes off. So you just pop it open. It's not that simple, so it's not gonna fall off while you wear it. But see, see it opens, it has a little lever, so you can, I just closed it. So you can pop this thing off if you don't want to have the medallion on there. And then you can just have, you know, like a really cool layered chain look with no stone on it. One of my first big pieces that I got from Kendra Scott was this chain. It's part of her charm collection. I'm pretty sure it's still available. You buy the chain by itself, and this is part of her vintage gold option. And then I picked two charms to add to it, and they attach the same way that I just showed you how that medallion comes on and off. And I picked two charms. One is the floating crystals, and one is the mother of pearl starburst. I just like how they look, and just so you can see where it lays. It's a great piece. And again, this is one that comes in other options. I will say she released a chain that is very similar to this. It's called the Whitley necklace and it is so popular they cannot keep it in stock. I have the Whitley bracelet. So as you can see, it's a very similar, very chunky gold. It has this little, um, tiny little crystal detail on one end of the clasp and on the toggle bar. I'll put it on. And so that does have, they do have a matching necklace for this. I would love to get it, but they cannot keep it in stock. If you see it, it does qualify for my discount. I would snatch it up. Isn't that pretty? I usually wear, wear it layered over here. Two more necklaces I have to highlight. This one I wear all the time. I layer it with a lot of pieces. This is the open frame L necklace. So this shape, if you are a Kendra Scott fan, should be very familiar to you. Most of the time you see it with a stone inside it but she made a few pieces of this open frame in earrings and bracelets and, and this necklace. You can get it with or without the crystals. This is one of my most worn pieces. I love it. And then of course, another classic, same shape. I picked it in a gold metal with the black, I think it's the black druzy, but you can get it with a, any kind of stone, doesn't have to be the druzy kind. Let's just briefly talk about bracelets. I don't wear bracelets very often because I really don't like to have bracelets on the arm that I write with. I'm left-handed, this is my left hand. I usually just have this stack going on my hand, on my right hand with my watch, and obviously none of these are Kendra Scott. Sometimes I'll put another one out here. I don't wear bracelets as often, but, did want to point out these. These are part of her philanthropy collection and these are the Everlyn bracelets. These are not going to be part of my discount, but what I love about these is that each of these options represents a different kind of philanthropy. So the proceeds from these purchases go towards uh, the philanthropy that you choose. When you choose the stone, that's where it goes. And I think one of these was for Feeding America and I can't remember what the other one was. The bracelet itself, it has you know different colored stones. I really like, you can tell, I like the kind that sparkle. They're adjustable, so you just pull on the tassels and you can make it longer or shorter. So if you're thinking of a piece for a younger person, I think these are great because they have meaning behind them and you can talk to the child about what the meaning is behind it. And then because they're so adjustable, they can fit those teeny tiny little young wrists. Before we move on to my full earring collection, which is 
actually not the full earring collection, but it's, I put it in here. This is a, um, it's on a hanger. I got this on Amazon. It actually has full, it's the same amount of pockets on both sides. I guess I could probably just drape it over here. But before I get to that, I pulled a few of the earrings that I wear all the time that are just sitting in a little tray next to my sink. So probably my most worn, and unfortunately these are not part of the discount code I have for you, are another piece from her fine jewelry collection. These are the Kathleen, I wanna say, earrings. It's a pearl with a tiny little diamond on the bottom. I wear these most days. Another piece I have from her fine jewelry collection are these moonstone earrings. These were a gift from a dear friend and they're not matching, which I think is really fun. I mean, the stones match, but the shapes are meant to not match. And I think they're really fun to wear, very delicate. Now these are part of the regular collection. These are a new release as well. And I just started wearing these. I love opals. I think opals are some of the most beautiful stones. Look at that beautiful color. I love that. These are brand new, part of the newest launch. And then you saw these stones in um, the necklace that I love. These are her Lee earrings, but this color is new. Look at that, that beautiful, beautiful blue. I love it. It's probably one of my all time favorite colors. I have been wearing these earrings a lot. These are part of the Jack collection. Um, they just are so, they're very, very lightweight, I should say. I will let you know if something's heavy. I don't own heavy earrings, so that should give you a, a clue that all these are very lightweight and wearable. These come in two or three other options. I have one of them, you're gonna see them in a moment, but I think these make such a great evening earring. There is an option, this is the smaller version. There's one that I think has another layer of dangles that's even bigger, more of a statement. These aren't the statement ones, believe it or not. But I think these are so nice for the holidays, for an evening out. They're just, they're very lightweight, they're beautiful, but they're very unique with this grayish stone inside. Okay, we're just gonna prop it up and run through a few of them. I'm not going through all of these. So some standouts. These are newer, part I believe of either the late fall or early winter collection. I love the vintage gold and you're gonna see a lot of blue. I, I really need to branch out and get more colors but I love the wider hammered kind of gold around the edge. I just think it's, a, it's neat. It's different than what you normally see. I have a few more pairs of the Lee earrings. I have it in gold with the, I guess it's iridescent and also the black stone as well. This was limited edition, this stone. I, a little bird told me we might be seeing this again in the spring. I certainly hope so. I hope it becomes part of their permanent collection. This lilac iridescent. It's probably one of my favorite stones they've ever released. Some of these are discontinued, so I don't want to show them to you. This is, again, another one of my most recent acquisitions. It's the faceted L earring. It's not flat. You can see the faceted, the facets on the stone, so it kind of gives a little bit of a shine to it. Of course, I picked the blue shade. You're going to see, I don't talk about a lot of them, but you're going to see pops of green. Kendra Scott pieces are great to celebrate some school spirit, to show some school spirit. So my son's high school colors were green, black, and silver. So you're gonna see a lot of green. Speaking of black, I can't remember what these are called, but they're, I think they're called like obsidian black or I can't remember the color, but it's a really neat, very kind of modern piece. And I, technically they're considered black, but it's a really soft black and I love the teardrop shape. These are not heavy, but I would say of all the earrings, these have a little more weight to them, but still very, like even if you have sensitive earlobes, you can wear these for sure. But if you're worried about it and you, you want to get that stone, these are the same stone in a forward facing, in a forward facing hoop. And I'm pretty sure this is the vintage gold. Very wearable, versatile piece. Here are those Jack earrings again, this time in a bright teal with um, vintage gold. I do believe they come also in a rainbow option. Like all the stones are different colors, but Again, this is the smaller option. There is an even bigger one, more of a statement. Here is another classic piece, and if you are a Kendra Scott collector and you don't have this in your collection, you need it. I believe this is the Sophia. This is the smaller one. Let me show you. So here is the Sophie, which is bigger, much bigger, next to the Sophia. Now the big guy here, I also have this in a hematite, which is a black, and I have it I think that's it, and but they just recently released this big guy with little crystals 
all along around the edge. And again, it is so popular right now, it is hard for them to keep it in stock. So if you're if you want something a little smaller and classic, the Sophia, the big Sophie, but I think the newer version with the little crystals is gorgeous. And if you can't decide between the two, you can grab these. I think these are the Simons. And these are actually a, the middle size. These are like the Goldilocks of the collection. It has the even the biggest outer one is still smaller than the big, big Sophie. And then the little tiny one in the middle. You can get this like I did in gold and silver, or you can just get it so both of them are in the same metal. I think both gold or both silver. I couldn't make up my mind, so I went with both. <laughs> We are in the home stretch. I only have four more pairs to show you. These are brand new, part of their most recent collection. I'm pretty sure they're one of the newest ones I have. And I love these again, it's the black and gold, druzy stone, but these are two earrings in one because you can wear the black druzy part as a stud by itself and take the ear jacket off or you can wear it as I have it here with the ear jacket on. I think that is so cool. I love a multifunction piece like her layered necklaces, and then this classic shape. Here it is again, the open frame L in, a ear, in an earring. This one you can get with the stones like I have it, with the sparkle around the edge, or you can get it just the plain open frame metal. Again, one of my go-to pieces. Really work appropriate too, if you, or if you are in a work setting that requires you to leave your house, or for a Zoom meeting. Not distracting, but a nice little touch. And then my two most worn hoops. I'm going to start with the silver ones. I'm pretty sure these are still available. I have seen another pair that look very similar. These are the Veronica's. Let me see if I can get the camera to focus on them. I believe they come in other colors as well. They're just a classic open hoop, but they have some texture to it, which I really like. And for size, here they are. And then I think these are so cool. And at first I got these as a gift from Kendra Scott and I thought I'm never gonna wear these. They're too big, they're too modern. They have turned out to be one of my favorite pairs of earrings. These are the Avi hoops. They look huge. They're, I wanna say they're aluminum, so they weigh nothing. They're like air, but look how big and geometric and modern they are. And then, but they're super lightweight and they just go with everything. And because they're super light, anyone can wear these. And I'm, I'm, obviously they come in the gold. I'm pretty sure they come in another color as well. It's a really neat collection. And I'm really glad I finally tried them on because like I said, probably one of my most worn earrings. So there you have it. There's a good look at a solid part of my Kendra Scott collection. Let me know if you have any questions about how they wear, how they hold up. I will say, the only earring that I have ever broken is because I dropped it on a concrete floor. They will replace earrings. Like if you lose one, bring the other one earring in and you can buy the one like half price to replace it. I have had out of, I probably have a dozen of these and I play with this tassel all the time. Only one tassel has come off and I just brought it in and they put the ring back around it and it was all well and good. I have not had any issues with tarnishing, with stones falling out. They've just been wonderful to work with. Like I said, long before I became a Kendra Scott ambassador, I was a fan and purchased a lot of these pieces. I just think they're great. I'll, obviously, I love supporting a Texas-based company. If you don't know me, I'm here in San Antonio, so they're just up the road headquartered in Austin. It's just a great brand. Kendra Scott, the human being, does great things for the local community and the community at large with her philanthropy pieces, with her give back program. So I'm just really honored and blessed to in any way be associated with the Kendra Scott brand. Like I said, if you have any questions, any comments, please leave them in the comments below. Everything's down in the description box. Don't forget about that code. I would love for you to be able to get something you want at 20% less than what you would normally pay. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. And because it's Daily December, I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.